What we're going to do today is we're going to waterproof this motion detector. We're going to stick it in a plant and hide it so we want it to be able to have water splashed on it and not get destroyed or damaged. So we're going to take the seal coat clear urethane seal and we're going to spray it over the board. There's a link in the description for where you can pick up some of this PCB board sealant. What you want to do is just kind of cover up where the base of the sensor is going to be. Um, we don't want to get too much of the clear coat concealant or conformal sealant over the the head of the sensor so once you've got that part covered up the the tip you can then come back and cover up the back up to the back connector if you like and then just apply your conformal coat and then what you want to do is do this make sure you do this in a well ventilated area and let that dry. And we'll show you how we do this with moisture sensors in this video right here. Uh, there's a link to that in the description as well. Okay, so let's let this dry and we'll come on back and apply another coat. As you can see, it's dried around most of the board, but we've still got some milkiness um, in the center chips piled up. So we're gonna go ahead and let it dry another 10 minutes and that should clear up a little bit as well. And then we'll apply our second coat. The, most of the milkiness, uh, the milky color is, is gone. That means the board is drying and it's ready for our second coat. Our second coat's drying now. We'll just go ahead and wait another 15, 20 minutes and come on back. Okay, our second coat is dry. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over and get uh, just one coat on the back. And so there's really not a lot going on on the back. We've just got these two leads going up to the sensor. While the back of the motion detector is drying, we're taking this strip of dual walled adhesive line heat shrink. Um, and you want to cut a size that can cover the sensor down to cover a little bit of the wires. But what's really cool about this dual walled heat shrink is just, it's very robust. But I don't know if you guys can see that glisten on the inside. That's an adhesive line glue that's going to melt around the board uh, when we apply heat to it as well and further seal out any, any kind of moisture. So we use the same material in ruggedizing the moisture sensors. Um, we're going to go ahead and apply that once this dries. With our motion detector dry, the sealant uh, is dry now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, piece of heat shrink, our rugged heat shrink, and we're going to slide it up. We don't want to cover the whole sensor. We want to leave a good amount exposed, but we want to get that glue down up over that PCB board. Let me see if you guys can see that. So we want to keep the tip out. And it's going to be glued and we want to be careful when we heat this up because we don't want to melt this plastic either but we want the back of it to cover the wire so you want to get it positioned good and over the pcb to where the glue from the inner lip here can touch this other side because you're going to be pushing them down together once they glue okay let's go ahead and pull out the heat gun and get it heated up You want to melt it enough to where the heat shrink melts, but you don't want to do it so hot where you burn up the components on the board. You get the heat shrink good and gooey. See that glue kind of tightening together there? You want to squeeze that around the rim and get a good seal. It's hot, so be careful. Don't burn yourself. I'm just kind of pinching it up over and just squeezing it together. I want it to dry the glue. I'm actually going to heat that piece up again. I want that pushed up around as well. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so we let the back dry. We're gonna have to heat that back up. Then do the same with the rear. Careful, that's hot. You guys can find something to use, have a little cloth nearby. It's probably a smarter way to do that because this is hot. But as you can see, 
We got a nice waterproof seal. There we go. That's a nice ruggedized motion detector.